hi guys um so in today's video i will be doing a reading vlog again and i will be reading the atlas six and the atlas paradox yeah i'm really excited to read those books yes i hate the different sizes it's disgusting um but yeah it's okay you know what can you do but yeah i'm really excited to read this book i think the cover is beautiful and um yeah um if you don't know it probably you do know it because i feel like it's going viral on tiktok or has been going viral on tiktok for quite a while it's basically about six magicians and they're get being sent to a secret society i think ish and they have to compete in a game or something and only five can come out alive i'm so not quite 100 percent sure hopefully when i'm reading the books i will become mono legible and i'm also very sorry about the lightning it's very dark outside because it's winter and the sun is going down and it's like 4 p.m so sorry about that but yeah i'm really excited to read it i'm a little bit intimidated because it's 500 pages i saw like book editions that were like 400 pages but i really don't understand the publish publishing thing but yeah and i'm gonna read the second one after it and i did start this morning and i got 15 pages in so you know we make quite a bit of progress no. but yeah i just got to know the first character and I don't know a lot about it. I just know there's going to be, I think, also an enemies to lovers between Libby and Nico. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know a lot about it, but I'm really excited. And I've heard only good things about it and that it has a crazy ending. So I'm, good. I, I'm glad I have a second one right here. And there is another one coming out. I don't know when, but it's going to take a while because that one is quite new. So let's start reading. hi guys so um it's a little bit later to be honest i got back from work and i've read a little bit more and i'm still only on page 50 or something so it's going really slowly but that's mostly because i had so much to do which is fine hopefully i'm gonna read a lot more tomorrow but i'm still gonna read a little bit more i just wanted to give you my first impressions which i thought was important because now I'm at part two, which is called Truth, and so far I'm actually really enjoying the book. It is really fun to read because I have no idea what's going to happen. And I love the multiple POVs, like every one of the six characters um, has a POV and I've read every single one of them except Nico, but like he was introduced and you know, like... We were able to get some information about him and the rest. We all read their POVs. Which is nice. I think all of them are third person POVs. So it's a bit confusing at first because I'm not used to that, I think, from my last book. But it's good. I think it's good when there are multiple POVs. But yeah. Anyways. um, Basically. So there's Libby, who is a physician. And there's Nico, who is a physician. And they're, I think, gonna fall in love from what I know about the book. I think they're enemies and they're gonna be lovers. But that was pretty obvious also from the first 50 pages and from the back of the book. Then there's Parissa, a telepath, which I think means she can read minds, but I'm not sure. Then there is Colum, right? Yes. Who can manipulates the mind and then there is rena she can like help mother nature grow plants which i think is really cool and then there is one more tristan i don't remember his powers because it doesn't set them i'm still a little confused as you can tell 
and I don't exactly know who what's gonna going on and a lot about the characters, but I think I like that. And um yeah, it's really good so far, I would say. And like you got to know them a little bit more and I love that they're all from like different parts of the world. Like one is from Japan, two are from the US I think, one is from London, one is from Greek and um one's from france i think paris but i'm not sure because then they said like the south african boy and i was like oh, south africa cool but like who so i'm confused but it's interesting but confusing but that's okay and i'm just gonna keep on reading a little bit more but they were all now introduced to like the What's it called? Alexandrian Society. Which is good. And they do have to do some kind of quest or something. And they're all a little bit arrogant, I would say. And like, look at this, I'm the best, like, magician ever. But we'll see who is. But yeah. Anyways, so yeah. I'm gonna keep reading a little bit more about the book tonight. And then read some more tomorrow morning. So guys, I just read a little bit more of the Atlas 6. I'm currently now on page 150, which is still not really far into the book. But you know, I'm getting there. Um, Every 50-ish pages, I think there comes like a um, new part, I guess. I don't really know how to explain it, but like now I'm at part 4, which is called Space. And, um, yeah. Um, so far, we got a little bit more about the characters and stuff like that. They all are very mistrusting and don't trust each other. And are like, mm, I don't want to work with you. I don't like you. I am the best and I only need me. And, yeah. But I'm excited to see where it's going. Because I'm hoping for some found family. That is like my favorite book trip of all times, so let's hope for that. That would be great. But yeah, otherwise, I do really like it. It's finally one of those books again where I'm like doing something else and I'm like thinking, I want to read, which is very nice. That sadly, I have so much stuff to do lately, so I can't read a lot, but it's okay. But yeah. I really like it. I don't trust, like, there are the six people, the six magicians, obviously. And then there are two people who are, like, the caretaker and an employee, kind of, of, like, the um, Alexandrian society. And I don't trust them. But, yeah. So far, I like Nico and Libby. And I also like Rina, I think, is her name. Yeah, Rina or Reina. I don't. I really don't know how to pronounce all those names, but yeah. And um, yeah, there are also like pictures um every time before the start of a new part, which is really cool. Like I can show you. So for example, that was one. I have no idea who that guy is, but I don't think it's Callum. But I'm not sure because Callum I think is blonde. And then here's where I am currently and um here so that is the next person not sure who he is could be nico maybe i'm not sure though i'm not sure guys so i read a little bit more of the atlas 6 which is just so cool i am very much enjoying it and it's really interesting so far and i've watched some like tiktoks about it and saw some good reads review without spoilers so that was quite good so i got a little bit more of an overview of the theme and stuff like that um right now there's not a lot happening to be honest 
they're just like studying or something i am a little bit confused what their goal right now is i wonder what's happening but it's okay you know it's a lot of like physics which i'm also not used to like quantum physics and like black holes and i'm like okay i'm now almost on page 200 it's really slow to read like that sucks a bit i wish it would be a little bit quicker but i'm trying not to put on pressure on me which always happens at the end of the month like i'm always like oh my goodness you need to read more books and like faster and stuff like that but as long as i'm enjoying what i'm reading it shouldn't really matter so so far it's pretty good hi guys so it's the next day this morning and now after the gym and stuff like that i read a little bit more of my book which i'm now over halfway through a tiny bit over halfway through it's really like I'm, it takes so long for me to read a page which i don't know why because it's like very confusing obviously and also i don't know i think i'm just a very slow reader as it turns out i just read a lot of the time but not a lot in this time but anyways i'm trying my best i even mark one thing i want to mark like all of the like times when it's like a new part because then there's a picture which we love so yeah but i'm currently um at part six and it's called thought and the next picture looks really cool i think it's rena but yeah i found it really cool so yeah i'm at that point currently and um yeah i do like it it's just confusing i really don't know what to explain because i don't understand it quite yet and now they're like on winter break so they are not even on like the in the society thing so yeah we'll see what's gonna happen next i do not trust atlas so i think he's a little bit fishy we'll see what's gonna happen with him and there's another character now except atlas in the six and I think he wants to help them, but like he can't tell them anything. So I don't know. He should tell them because he did the whole thing like 10 years ago, but he doesn't. Also, it's really cold on here. But yeah, I need to go to work and then I'll read some more tonight and I hopefully I'll finish it tomorrow. But yeah. They can't kill them. I'm not using prompts, I'm not giving any spoilers, but <sighs> Hi guys. Hi guys. But yeah, I'm basically at part eight, which is now called Death, which is also the last part. I did um mark off all the parts as you can see here and i did tap some other scenes that i loved but um yeah that's basically it <sighs> the last chapter was really crazy to be honest the plot i think finally something is happening because it's been do you hear that that's my cat i don't know what is going on with him but anyways the plot is finally something is happening which I'm very grateful for because it was a bit boring for a long time because nothing kept happening. Basically, like I said, it's the six magicians, they are in society and to be 
like actually part of the th society and they have to kill one of the six like the five of them have to decide who to kill and um yeah i don't know what like it just left off on a big cliffhanger so i really want to keep reading and not giving you an update but it's fine and yeah because something crazy just happened which I did not predict. I was like, I was literally loving the chapter. It was so powerful and crazy and like on the edge of my seat. And then what? Like, no, they can't. What? I want to give up a spoiler so badly right now. Damn, I'm going to keep reading a little bit more. Okay, guys, I just want to give you a little bit of an update right now. Because last night I did finish the Atlas 6 which was amazing like the end it really really picked up which i loved but also hate because why did it take so long to finally pick up um that was very annoying honestly um because it just took so long like i think like the last 100 pages were really good but it's also 500 pages so the first 400 dragged a bit up obviously i know like there's a lot of work building to do and you need to get to, you need to get to know the characters and the rules of a society and everything that's happening obviously but like from page 100 to 400 like these 300 pages I was like what's going on nothing so I don't like that but so I'm really not sure how I'm gonna rate this I will probably rate it a little bit later because I'm not sure but I do really like the ending and I do really like the characters even though, even though they are kind of all a little bit of assholes, they are kind of like fascinating in some ways. So I did like them. And my favorite right now is definitely Tristan. I don't know why, but I love him. So yes. Also, I'm excited to see what's going to happen next because I am currently reading The Atlas Paradox. I started it this morning and I'm currently like on page 50, so not a lot happened. And The Atlas Paradox, um, I'm excited to read now. I hope it's like happening more quicker because we are in the middle of the plot because this one ended on a big, big cliffhanger. So technically there shouldn't be a lot of work building. I obviously have like kind of an idea what's probably gonna be like the, what do you say about? What's the main plot of this one? Um, because, like I said, plot twist in this one will lead to this book. And I didn't even know before I ordered these books that it was a trilogy. The third one is still coming up. Otherwise, I would probably read it like next. But yeah, like I would definitely recommend this series, I just want to say. But yeah, I'm going to keep reading now. And yeah, I also need to edit a, another reading vlog and stuff like that. So let's see how much I get done today. But I am enjoying it. Yes. And oh my goodness, like I really want to keep reading because right now, um, the magicians, the six magicians get right now like in, initiated into the society and it's so cool reading about it because there's like a special thing happening before when everybody can look into their subconscious or something and it's so interesting and now right now we're in Tristan's I think and that's so interesting and I'm really excited for columns so that's really cool yeah anyways I'm gonna keep reading just wanted to give you an update I finished this one and I'm now on the second one Hi guys, I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update on my reading of The Atlas Paradox, which is going very slowly, which has many reasons, but I am still reading it, I think after like yesterday or some shit, I don't know, I just haven't been feeling very well, and so I just didn't pick up the camera, and I haven't been reading that much, so there wasn't really a lot to update, which... It's partly also because of the book because I feel like nothing is happening. I'm, I mean, there is more happening than in the first one. And I love it, but I don't know. It's a very, like, character-driven book. 
and I love the characters which makes it so much more enjoyable I feel like if you really care about plot it might not be the best one for you and I see why people a lot of people DNF it I also see why a lot of people love it I could potentially be one of them I don't know like I said, I don't know. I'm currently on page 300 of 400, so I have exactly 100 pages left. But yeah, I don't know. Um, I saw a spoiler on TikTok, which was actually kind of nice because it was a very, like, happy spoiler. Which just makes me very excited to keep on reading because I know something that's gonna happen and makes me, like, so happy that it's gonna happen. Because I didn't think it would happen. It, it, it didn't, I... I didn't know if it was actually going to happen, like, at all, or if it would just happen in, like, the third book or something, which I really want to read right now, but I can't, because it's not out yet, which is okay, but yeah, um, basically, can't really say a lot about the plot without giving a lot of spoilers, but... Um, and I do like also the multiple POVs, obviously it makes it a lot more interesting, but also like each chapter ends on a cliffhanger and then it switches POV and you have to read like a hundred pages to get to the cliffhanger and then you're like, what was that even? So that kind of sucks, but it's fine, you know, it keeps it kind of interesting. And I love the characters, like all of them. Yes, my favorites are currently Callum definitely Tristan and Nico I don't know why these three I just love them and one more who is not part of the six which is kind of also like my favorite of all time <sighs> yeah, I do like the girls just not as much as the boys but yeah also yeah that's kind of all I can update you I will be finishing it and I did annotate it a little bit I do still want to annotate like all the pictures again but I haven't done that yet <sighs> But yeah, I'm gonna keep reading. Mm, yeah. Hi guys. Um, I finished the Atlas Paradox last night. This one. I've also got this one here with me. And also, I do so want to annotate like the photo parts, which I have so I haven't done in this one because I wanted to annotate the rest of the book. But yeah, just needed to say that. But um. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I have the worst book hangover ever. Like it's currently like 3 p.m. and all I've been thinking about is the book and especially the ending and especially the pain because it ended because I did not want it to end. And yeah, I'm I'm just missing those characters so much. Like oh my god, especially Nico, Gideon, Cullen, and Tristan. I don't know why, but they just, I love them. And Cullen was honestly so much fun. A lot of people don't like him. I don't understand why. He was so much fun. Honestly. And then, yeah, the ending was very painful. I saw, like, the, really the last page on TikTok. A little bit before that. But it honestly just made me so exciting excited to read it but i didn't think it would be the last page so that really hurt but yes it was the last page and it was amazing but i i'm not sure what i'm gonna rate this I f it feels weird to give it five stars but honestly i've not experienced a book with this big of a chokehold on me in forever so i think i should give it five stars but it's it's like very 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 character driven so if you don't like the characters or you don't like books that are more character driven maybe there's not this is not the right books for you these aren't the right books for you but for me they truly were and i love them and i miss the characters and it ended so like kind of sad i don't know like the whole like last chapters were just meh but yeah, I'm excited to read like the third book, which is gonna come out. I don't know when. I am patiently, no, well, not patiently, waiting for it to drop because I really want to read them, and I love the covers. And um, yeah, honestly, I'm just sad it's over.
But yeah, it's okay. I don't know what else to say to these books. Read them if you like character-driven books, but be prepared for a lot of pain and a lot of sadness in the end when it's over. Because I very much got emotionally attached to those characters. And I'm also currently listening to a playlist of those characters and stuff like that, just so I'm like feeling it. And I'm like currently watching TikToks and Pinterest. I'm just obsessed. So yeah. I'm I'm so I'm like so sad it's over, honestly. And yeah, I think I'm gonna give this one four stars and this one five stars. And I'm so glad I did read it in fact, because it was just so good. So sad it's over. So 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 sad it's over. But it's okay. It's fine. Hi guys. So this is kind of like the spoiler roundup. Uh, if you've read both of these books, then keep watching. And if not, then don't. <laughs> yeah. If if you haven't read these two books, then don't keep watching. I'm just gonna say goodbye. You know I would recommend these books. And yeah. And I just want to say, <sighs> I'm so mad that Tristan tried to kill Callum and I'm so glad it didn't work out because why would you do that? It's so infuriating. Like poor Callum, like literally his only friend tried to kill him. So annoying. And honestly, Libby, she's missing. Do I care? No. Like... There's something definitely missing, but I don't really care. Um, I love Gideon and his storyline with Nico. I hope he plays like a bigger part in this book. And um, yeah, I'm kind of, kind of interested, kind of just interested in Colin and Tristan, to be honest. Very much hitting those two. But I don't know, Tristan kind of also likes Libby or feels responsible. So I don't know what's going on there, honestly. But yeah, they're doing the ritual now where everybody has like a kind of like projection and it's really weird and I have no idea what it means, but nobody does, so it's fine. And I don't know, it's always so nice being in Callum's head because it's actually like way more honest and like you actually see what he feels than like in the other POVs. Because nobody knows what he actually thinks and feels and stuff like that, maybe except a little bit like Tristan. And what I want to say, like, there was one POV, I don't know, that said, like, yeah, Caleb is dreaming, and he's dreaming of Tristan. And then it was like, yeah, he's dreaming of killing Tristan. Like, are you kidding me? I just want a cute little romance. But fine. But yeah, I guess that Callum feels really betrayed, so I get that. But still really sucks but yeah. i love that picture though so beautiful anyways i'm gonna keep reading a little bit more yeah just wanted to say that for all the spoilers i don't really know basically i'm at the point where libby is obviously a abducted also how bad is she pleased with the gideon and like getting into like this dream thingy which i guess but honestly why is she always like fleeing it again and like waking up and stuff yeah like, she could make it happen a lot quicker but anyways i'm still have no idea how they're actually gonna like help her but equally ezra is probably gonna bring her back i don't know yeah equally i don't understand anything about ezra like what's his point what is he trying to do i do like his power that is really cool um i saw a spoiler which said that nico and gideon would like kiss and stuff like that i don't think they're gonna be like together and stuff like that but they are like the ship of the book for me personally and tristan Callum. and that just made me so happy like i'm so excited to get to that part i'm not yet there but i'm excited to get there and um yeah what other spoilers are there that i need to talk about Callum. I feel so sad for him. He's just so depressed. It makes me really sad. Tristan, come on, pick him up. Or anybody, honestly. How can you live two years 
with these people and just don't care. Don't do anything. Mind blowing. Like the potential for a found family is so huge and it's just not happening and that's so sad. But no, we still got a third book. So yes. Anyways. Um uh, what else? What else? I don't really like Parissa, like she's powerful and stuff. But the whole I don't know, Dalton or Dalton, I don't I don't even know his name, so I don't really care about that. And Rena is so self so focused. It's incredible. But yeah, basically I just marked off all the cute parts between Nico and Gideon and Tristan and Cullum. Which Cullum is so fucking funny. He is carrying the book, honestly. And yeah, I love Nico and Tristan's friendship. That is so cute and amazing. And like how they're trying to save Libby. I mean, personally, do they need to save her? I don't know. But I do like her a lot. No, I do like the friendship a lot. And maybe she's fine. It's just, you know. Don't know. But I'm very happy they did not kill Callum. Honestly. Tristan, what the fuck? That was still, like, so infuriating. Honestly. If I would be Callum, I'd be mad. But, yeah. <sighs> I love learning more about Tristan's power, though. That's very interesting. Yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna keep reading. And talk to you probably when I finish or something because I'm really bad at picking up the camera. But I don't know. But honestly, okay, now for the spoilers. I loved the end with Gideon and Nico. I annotated the whole page, I think. And um, yeah, as you can see, I'm kind of sad that I only chose black as the only annotation thing but I did annotate a lot and it's kind of beautiful to look back in it and I did put some tabs in it but I honestly don't have a lot it's more like when I really like the scenes like ending when they kissed and like I can't get like it out of my head when he said like so it's like that yeah yeah it's like that good and then Rose fucking appeared like what I'm just, I really hope there's no love triangle. I'm just, I hate it. Like, it's not even a love triangle because it's not only Libby, Nico, and Gideon. It's also like Tristan and Cullen in there, in the mix. Because also like Tristan likes Libby and Nico likes Libby. And I'm just, honestly, why? But at this point, I'm shipping more because I think Libby has to end up with one of these. And I'm thinking more towards Tristan. Which feels sad to say because I honestly love Tristan and Cullen together. <laughs> yeah. But I love Gide Nico and Gideon even more. Um, to be honest, I did not really care about Perissa and Dalton. What's the point? I did not understand it. It was a lot. And it was very confusing to be honest. So that was partially part of that. I, like I said, I loved the friendship between Nico and Tristan at the end and how they were trying to get Libby back. Obviously, really cool. And I also kind of loved like how like Nick, uh, Libby got to know Belden in like 1990 and then Belden appeared back in like 2020 and like talked to them all, but they obviously had no clue. I don't know. That was really cool. And I liked like the plot where Libby was missing, it was just like a bit weird because like nobody really cared except Nico and Tristan, so yeah, honestly and Re Re Reina, Reina, I don't know <sighs> why is she thinking that she's a god? what was that whole fucking plot? don't know, did not understand it, but okay um, yeah honestly kind of crazy, also like Ezra died what was even the point? Like, it was just so pointless, the whole thing. That really annoyed me, but fine, I guess. I mean, honestly, <laughs> Livy did take revenge, which, yes, go girl. And um, yeah, I think those are all the spot of thoughts that I have. I'm just obsessed with Nico and Gideon at this point, or especially Gideon, just Gideon. In general, Gideon. I love when, like, he calls Nico Nikki. So fucking cute. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna end this video here with a deep need of a third book very, very quickly because 
it was just so good honestly at the beginning i thought i would be shipping nico and libby and then gideon appeared i was like mm -mm. changing ways very quickly so that was fun honestly i think they could be just so good friends but nico and gideon also a, th a song that like really reminds me of nico and gideon is maroon by taylor swift which i'm like obsessed with the whole midnight album obviously but that song and those two like um what is the line like when they're like dancing in new york or something oh, yes that's like really reminds me of like the ending and stuff like that i mean the ending was in paris but still you know new york is all okay okay i'm gonna stop talking about them now but ouch but i did really love it and yeah Love you.